So some of you may have noticed that in my channel trailer I described a lot of uh, video games and stuff uh, that I really haven't put up any videos to talk about. Uh, I am very big into retro gaming and I figured one of the best ways for me to introduce my channel into some of that would be to just do a collection video and show you guys all my stuff. Uh, so I'm going to run down through uh, all my uh, games. I'm going to do it real quick. I'm not going to you know, talk about every game individually. I'll talk about some of the highlights, maybe some of the stories of how I got some of the more collectible pieces in my collection. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy it. I know it's a little bit different from my anime stuff. Uh, just because I'm doing this video doesn't mean I'm not doing anime videos. Uh, I'll probably do one sometime next week. Um, but uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments, and uh, thanks for watching. All right, so first things first, I figured I'd show you my first setup. I have two setups. The first one is in my room with my 42-inch LED TV. I have my PS2 hooked up through component cables. I have the Wii U. I have the N64. And I have my Xbox 360. Uh, I will show you the second setup after the game collection. All right, so on the side of my room, I have beams for the wall that I did not put drywall up on and they make perfect shelves. Uh, it is a bit tight in here so I am going to try and show you everything at once and then show you everything individually. So let's start off up top here with the Genesis games. Unfortunately I can't see this high up so I'm just gonna have to take it for granted that you can read all these titles. So now, Genesis was the console I had when I was a kid. So a few of these games I had, but I'd say the majority of them I did not. And uh, actually, one of my coworkers gave me a good amount of them, so I got lucky in that respect. And then here are some box games. And then my very small Sega Master System collection. And... I think these three, there's a Game Genie here for the Genesis. We have Hang On Safari Hunt, Great Football, and Rocky. So continuing along around right the top here, we have my Atari 2600 collection. Uh, most of these games I picked up for a dollar a piece. I mean, it's not really hard to pick up Atari games for cheap. Uh, the 2600 is probably one of my favorite systems to collect for. Uh, games are just so classic, and uh, you really can't beat all the different experiences you can have while playing on the 2600. Okay, so next we have my very small Saturn collection. And I have the 10th anniversary for... Sonic from the Dreamcast, and let's see what else we have here. Knights Sampler, Daytona USA, and Virtual Cop. So here are my only 32X games. Um, it's actually a really funny story. I don't have a 32X. Uh, I was at a garage sale, and they had all three of these games out for a dollar a piece. And that's a fantastic deal, even if you don't have a 32X. Uh, Knuckles Chaotix alone is a $30 game. And uh, so I asked them if they had the system to play with, and they said no. Nope. So I just picked up the games and uh, went on my merry way. All right, so now we're at the N64. This is my favorite system of all time. I mean, it was uh, right in the heyday of N64 when I was really into video games. So most of these ones with stickers I had uh, from when I was younger. Um, I printed these stickers out online, and they look great, especially since the N64 games do have no end labels. Uh, so these all at the end here would be games that I've gotten since I started collecting. And I'm going to pause the video here and uh, put the games out so you can see them all. Alright, so these were the games that were stacked. Then I haven't gotten a chance to print out stickers for yet. But I will be. So next up we have my Super Nintendo collection. Got most of the good games. Uh, I'm still missing a few. Super Mario RPG, all the Mega Mans, Final Fantasy. 
but I have a good amount of the must-haves. Alright, so moving from there, let's take a look at all these NES games. NES is probably, even now, still the easiest system to collect for because they made so many games, because there were so many different um, ways you could buy these games. So I still constantly see them at flea markets, at garage sales. Not so much at thrift stores, but if you really want them, you can find them. And then at the end here, we have two, after I knock them all down, we have two tension games. And though they are Rolling Thunder and Fantasy Zone. So moving right along, we can take a look at my PS1 collection. Uh, I did not have a PS1 when I was growing up. So when I first got my PS2, the first thing I wanted to do was play Spyro. So I went out and got this uh, collector's edition, uh, which has all three games in it. And it turns out that that collection actually is actually pretty rare. So I'm uh, pretty happy that I had bought that when it uh, was originally released. So then here we have the rest of my PS1 collection. And uh, PS1 is slowly becoming one of my favorite consoles to collect for. There's a lot of good games on here that uh, definitely get overrated. Uh, not overrated, uh, underlooked. Underlooked? Overlooked? Whatever. All right, uh, so now we're moving down to more modern stuff. Here's the uh, my 360 collection. Um, I was very big on 360 when it first came out, but then towards the end of its uh, lifespan, I really just didn't care anymore. Uh, same thing with the Wii. Um, I'm sure, as uh, most viewers know, the Wii games were more for casual audiences, and uh, they really didn't cater much to my interests, so I have a very small Wii collection. And the Wii U, I've only bought Super Mario 3D World since I've got it. Uh, probably going into game collecting, the GameCube was my most fleshed out collection um, when I was uh, younger. The GameCube, I always had my friends over, so I always wanted to get games to play, and uh, I never got rid of any of them. <laughs> so pretty much all the must-have titles for the GameCube I have. All right. All right, coming back down to the original Xbox, uh, I actually did have an original Xbox. I got it uh, two years before 360 came out. So the only games I originally owned were Conkers, Halo, Halo 2, Psychonauts, and uh, Shadow of the Hedgehog. And the rest of these I've gotten through my endeavors as a flea market entrepreneur. <laughs> Uh, so here's my PS2 collection. Uh, I have a good amount of PS2 games as well. Um, I didn't have, I'd say, maybe half of these when I first started. Actually, uh, from Jack and Daxter left, the only game I originally owned was Dragon Ball Z Budokai. PS2 also very large collection, very easy to find games for. And then my final collection for games for consoles would be the Dreamcast collection. I did own a Dreamcast. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking, but uh, <laughs> all these games, uh, except for Power Stone and um, Soul Calibur, uh, I owned when the console was released. So here are my Game Boy and uh, such games. Uh, I made a lot of cases for all these because they look freaking awesome. So let's take a look at Pokemon Red. Look at that. Doesn't that look nice? <laughs> Uh, all the games are in here for these games. And then I saw a tip online that original Game Boy games look really nice in cassette tapes. Cases. Which is true. And then the rest of my handhelds are pretty much thrown into these shoe boxes. Um, here are some games that I have not gotten cases for. Here are some strategy guides. And so now here are consoles that I do not have hooked up. Here's the original Xbox with the Saturn on top of it. Uh, I can 
pull out the Saturn and plug it in whenever I feel like playing it. I just don't have that many games for it to have it consistently hooked up. Along with the 3D gamepad and the controller for the Saturn. And I have the PS1 Slim model, the Dreamcast, and the Sega CD for the Model 2 Genesis. And here's my GameCube. And there's my Sega Master System. And then down the bottom there is my fat PS1, because uh, PS2, because I have the slim one hooked up. And then these three crates are all holding a bunch of crap, really. So finally, I have my N64 controller collection, which is one of my favorite things in the world to collect. I love all these different colors and different options you can have to play with your friends. So this is probably my pride and joy if I had a better place to display them I would but as you can see I really don't have much space for all that. Alright so now we're in my garage of all places. Um, really don't have much space in my house to put up another television but uh, can't play old consoles on a high def TV it's just not right. So I have a nice uh, flat screen CRT here with my Genesis Model 2 hooked up along with my Atari 2600, my Super Nintendo, and my NES. And a uh, nice little box switcher so I don't have to get off my lazy ass if I want to play some games. Alright guys, thanks for watching my video game collection tour collection. If you like this video, please uh, subscribe to my channel, uh, like the video, comment. I love to talk to you guys. Uh, like I said, this doesn't mean I'm done making anime videos. I just wanted to give you guys a little something different to look at because, I don't know, I'm kind of bored. <laughs>